I should take off my glasses so you don't get a reflection in your eyes. Australian public hosti hospitals are very stressed and they're getting, they're, they're becoming more and more stressed. Um, you get uh, treated for pre, um, pre-admission into hospital, you get treated there, you know. It used to be once that you were admitted into hospital and they did everything once you were admitted, but now you get weighed and they talk about your medications and all that kind of thing uh, before, the day before. And then you go home, you sleep in your own bed, you come back the next day for your operation. That, that I believe that what uh, the fact that public hospitals are stressed is also the reason why uh, the food is so disgusting. But I think the government could save a lot of money by, by preparing different food because I suspect that most people have a little bit of a taste of, of what they get, they're given and then they just go, I can't. I can't eat any more of this. Um, whoever, whoever is coming to see them, friends, family, please can you just, just bring me something from home. So there's a lot of waste. The bread, the gluten-free, white, soggy slice of foam that all celiacs are familiar with and nobody likes, nobody enjoys. That, that was all that I was offered as, as bread and, and because I was a celiac they also decided I must be lactose intolerant so I was given a patty of Nutilex which I think is, tastes disgusting and is probably quite a horrible thing to put in your body anyway and I just rejected this bread so that was that was you know something that the hospital lost money on because I just I just went, no, I can't eat this. And I imagine that most celiacs in that public hospital would, would do exactly the same thing. They would just go, you know, it's bad enough not being able to eat oh, a delicious loaf of bread, real bread, a baguette or a sourdough or a, a bagel. To be given the worst, and and not not healthy, no no fibre in this in this dish cloth of a of a slice. To be fed that, and then to be told that you need to open your bowels, is is just a travesty.